Thank you, Eric. Um, you know, I, I want to take a minute real quick and acknowledge and appreciate the, the room we're in tonight, right? Not, not only is this an awesome venue, thank you, Alex, and your team, um, but look around, right? Uh, it's not often that I find myself surrounded by professionals, business owners, um, just all around rock stars at what they do. Um, and so I try and remember that this doesn't happen often. And I try and take a moment to appreciate when I'm in these kinds of rooms. Because not everyone you meet is focused on excellence like we are, right? And even fewer are focused on excellence in more than one area, right? So being in a room like this tonight, surrounded by people who are striving for excellence in their lives, who are looking for more, who are looking to grow, is something to appreciate. So I'm just taking a moment and appreciating being here with you all because it's energizing for me to be around you all. It's energizing for me to hear your stories of your you know, grandparents and how they came up and what you're doing now to honor them and to carry on that legacy. It's awesome here to hear the stories of what folks are doing with you know, youth athletic teams and working with young athletes to, to focus on their mental well-being. You know, it's awesome to hear about how folks are using their business and not only supporting employees with benefits and salaries, but using that business to support the government and what we're doing here in our country. This is an awesome room. And it's not every day that I'm in rooms like this, so I hope you take a minute tonight and appreciate who you're sitting with, who you're surrounded by, and who you're just connecting with tonight. You know, I've um, studied a lot about excellence, right? And this idea of striving for excellence in everything we do. Uh, and there are a couple of themes that I've picked out that I want to kind of touch upon tonight. Um, themes of things that folks do, habits that people have, uh, and just these acts that we repeatedly do. Uh, in my role as a business banker for M&T Bank, uh, I, I seek these folks out, right? I'm looking for that business owner that's not satisfied with the status quo. I'm looking for the business owner who says, here I am today, but in three years, man, I'm going to be here. Uh, I want to work with those folks. Uh, in a prior life, I was a... Uh, uh, on active duty in the United States Marine Corps and, and served with some amazing individuals who strived for excellence every day in what they did. So what, what themes have I found, right? In, in business excellence, in military leadership and excellence, what themes have I found? The first is um, an old quote that um, we are what we repeatedly do. So excellence then is not an act but a habit, right? It's not those one-off big events we go to. It's not the big strategy meeting we're having with our business to set our strategy for the next year. It's what we do day in and day out. That's what makes excellence. And the two things I wanna focus on tonight in terms of those habits are taking care of yourself, both mentally and physically, and finding a tribe and a community. Beyond everything else, right? The reading, the personal developments, the webinars, the seminars, the, you know, everything else. Beyond all of that, the foundation is in taking care of yourself, mentally and physically, and finding a tribe. Because guess what? You cannot operate at levels of excellence if your body is focused just on survival. Right? If you're not getting the sleep you need, listen, I, I appreciate the grind culture and hustle and I'll sleep when I'm dead. I, I get it and I appreciate it. And I think there's a time and a place for it. But it is not sustainable. Research has shown, studies have shown that when we don't get optimal sleep, our brain does not function at optimal levels. And so that week you spent going all night going hard at whatever you're working at, those meetings you're having during the day, you're not putting forth your best self at those meetings. 
Quick show of hands. We're going to get some audience participation here. How many of you have had a meeting during that like 3 o'clock afternoon slump and you know you weren't functioning at your best? Show of hands. Come on. Let's be honest. Right? <laughs> Everyone's raising their hand because you know. You know you're not functioning at your best when you're dead tired, when your body is focusing on survival. Let's talk about stress. Right? Research shows your brain gets less oxygen and less, less blood flow when you are under stress. Think about how that affects your decision making. From everything as to who your next hire is going to be, right? To am I going to take this contract? Am I going to partner with this person? You know, what am I doing with this, per with this, with this customer? All of these decisions, we're making a million decisions. And if we're not functioning at our best, our decisions are not our best. Let's talk about what we put in our body, right? Aside from the phenomenal food that was tonight, because um, that was amazing, and drinks. Um, listen, I, I've been on the road going from meeting to meeting, and I've scarfed down the occasional Big Mac in between meetings. And I know when I'm at the meeting after the Big Mac, I'm not functioning at my best, right? And so being cognizant of, of that, right? Being cognizant of our body, trusting our body and what it's telling us is huge because without us, we, right? What, are our, what happens to our business? We need to be taking care of ourselves to be taking care of our businesses. We need to be taking care of ourselves to be taking care of our careers. And that goes for mental health too, right? I said stress affects our decision making. We are less open to alternative thinking when we are under stress. We see fewer options available to us when we are under stress. We take criticism more poorly when we are under stress. If you, I took a minute on the ride over here and I started to think through, and it was a dangerous line of thought. I started to think through, geez, how many decisions have I made when I wasn't at my best? What opportunities could I have missed out on because I just didn't think it was a viable option, right? Um, we need to take care of ourselves. What does that look like, right? What, what does it mean to take care of yourself? Sleep, as I see Mark yawning, right? <laughs> Make sure you're getting good quality sleep. Take breaks. There's this thought process of, of what we should be doing, right? And I should be grinding all day, you know, 10, 12 hours a day, and I can't afford to take a break, because if I take a break, I'm gonna lose my progress on this project, or I'm gonna miss that. But the studies have shown that when we take those breaks, we come back better than when we left. So taking the break, even though it seems like you're missing out on something, is going to make you better when you're back. These are little things, right? Go for a walk during your day. Well, maybe not now, because it's kind of cold. But, <laughs> you know, get out, move your body. These are things that will help you show up better in everything you do. And then find a tribe, right? We are social people. We're not meant to go through life alone. From a life perspective, from a business perspective, there's this false narrative out there of, we were talking about it earlier, right? Of, of the entrepreneur that, you know, quits his job, walks away and, and puts his head down and works every day and does it all themselves, right? But that's not the reality of it. The reality of it is that we have so many resources out there available at our fingertips. Resources to help us. Because whether you realize it or not, we can't be good at everything. And I'm going to say that again. You are not expected to be good at everything. So get help. There are plenty of people out there willing to help, waiting to help. So leverage the resources out there that are available, that are willing to help. Take a moment and think about the last time you helped somebody and how it made you feel, right? We want to help people. 
other people feel that too when they're helping you. We want to be helpful. We want to be of service to folks. Give somebody else that joy, that pleasure, that satisfaction of helping you, and it will only make you better. We know that diverse thought improves performance. So get those other opinions, get those other thoughts, get that feedback from other people. It's out there and waiting for you. So tonight, as we, we kind of talk and get together and pick up these ideas on how to uh, factor in excellence in everything we do, I urge you tomorrow to think about now what you're going to do tomorrow to take care of yourself. Whether it's a break at lunch, whether it's a walk around your house or up the stairs in your office building or wherever you may be, take care of yourself. This body is the only one we have. This mind is the only one we have. When we're using it optimally, when we're taking care of it, it can do amazing things. But when we neglect it and focus on other areas, it can't function the way we need it to. So figure out something tonight that you can do tomorrow to take care of yourself and figure out one person that you're going to reach out to tomorrow. You don't have to ask for help, because I know that's a big step, but figure out one person you're gonna reach out to tomorrow and connect with. A potential business partner, a potential counseling opportunity, you know, a potential somebody to just talk to and say, hey, you run a business just like I do. How, are, are you seeing the same challenges I'm seeing? Try it. See how it works out for you. And next time we do a biz talk, we'll talk about how it worked.